This video will show you how to flash the four major open source flight controller firmwares, such as Arduino Pilot, PX4, Enough, and BetaFlight, onto the Miko R7 for three version to AIO. Before flashing, make sure to download the required tools. Open your browser and go to MikoAir.com to access the MikoAir Technology Documentation Center. In the Flight Controller section, select the installing firmware on MikoAir 7 for 3. Click the link to download the tools directly from there. In the DFU driver installation software is added. The tools needed for flashing include the official STM32 ToQ programmer, the USB driver installer is added, the Ardu Pilot Ground Station Mission Planner, the PX for Ground Station Q Ground Control, the Enough Configurator, and the Beta Flight Configurator. Hold the boot button on the flight controller and connect it to the computer using a USB cable. Open Device Manager, and Windows will recognize the flight controller in DFU mode as an unknown device. Now use Zadig to install the driver. Run Zadig as administrator. Click Options and select List All Devices. Find the item called DFU in FS mode. Click Install Driver and wait for the installation to finish. Once the driver is installed, Windows will recognize the flight controller in DFU mode when it is connected via USB. In the 7 for 3 version to IO user manual, under the firmware section, you can find the official download link for the Ardu Pilot firmware. Click the link and choose the Copter firmware. Scroll down to the stable release for .6.2 and find the Miko R7 for 3 version 2. Download the file ending with app or hex. If you plan to flash using Cube Programmer, download the file name with bl.hex. This file includes the bootloader. If the file name includes bl, it means the firmware contains the bootloader and the file extension is hex. Files with the app extension can only be flashed using Mission Planner if the flight controller already has a bootloader installed. Here is how to use STM32Q Programmer to flash the Ardu Pilot firmware. This method works no matter what firmware is currently on the flight controller. Open Device Manager and then open STM32Q Programmer. Hold the boot button and connect the flight controller to the computer with a USB cable. Wait for Windows to detect it in DFU mode. In Cube Programmer, select the USB port. Click the Refresh button next to the port field, and the software will detect USB 1. Then click Connect to link the flight controller. After that, you can select the firmware file from your computer to flash. Click the plus button and choose Open File. In the dialog window, select the firmware file you downloaded. Make sure the file is the one with bl.hex from the Ardu Pilot website. Then you can flash it directly to the flight controller using Cube Programmer. After selecting the Ardu Pilot for .6.2 firmware, perform a full chip erase. Click the eraser icon in the bottom left and confirm in the pop-up window. Once the erase is complete, click Download to start flashing. The STM32 bootloader is stored in ROM and cannot be erased or overwritten. This means there is no risk of breaking the board so you can safely flash the firmware. Cube Programmer writes the file directly to the MCS onboard flash without checking if the firmware matches the flight controller model. So make sure the firmware matches your flight controller. Do not flash 7 for 3 version 1 firmware onto version 2 board. Wait for the progress bar at the bottom to reach on 100% and the log to show that the file download is complete in green. Click Disconnect in the top right corner. Then power cycle the flight controller by unplugging and plugging back the USB cable. The flight controller's LEDs will light up. For boards running Ardu Pilot for the first time, you need to power cycle twice by unplugging and plugging the USB cable to times. Otherwise, 
Mission Planner will not detect the COM port. Here is how to use Mission Planner for online flashing. This method only works if the board is already running R2 Pilot. In Mission Planner, click Setup in the top left and choose Install Firmware. Select the Quad X icon for the Copter Firmware. Choose version for .6.2 and confirm in the pop-up window. Mission Planner will automatically download the firmware. Then confirm in the pop-up window. You don't need to press the boot button. Just connect the flight controller to the computer with a USB cable. And the ground control station will detect it automatically. Erase the chip and flash the new version. This method only works for upgrading or reflashing a flight controller. That is already running our Doo Pilot firmware. After about 30 seconds, the ground control station will show that the flashing is complete, and the green progress bar will be full. Click Data to return to the main screen. Select the correct COM port in the top right corner, and click Connect to link the flight controller to the ground control station. In the Messages pane on the left, you will see that the firmware is now version for .6.2. PX for firmware must be downloaded from the official PX for GitHub or compiled by yourself. Some older firmware versions can be downloaded from Miko Air's GitHub. To flash PX for firmware, first use STM32 Cube Programmer to flash the PX for bootloader. Hold the boot button to enter DFU mode. Then connect the flight controller to the computer with a USB cable and open STM32 Cube Programmer to connect. Flash the PX for bootloader version 1.14. Before flashing, perform a full chip erase. After flashing, disconnect the flight controller from STM32 Cube Programmer and unplug the USB cable. Open Cube Ground Control. Click the Q icon in the top left. Then choose Vehicle Configuration and Firmware. Stay on this page and do not press the boot button. Connect the USB cable to the flight controller. In the pop-up window, click Advanced Settings and choose Custom Firmware File. Select the local PX for firmware file, such as version 1.14.3 with the PX for extension and confirm. The flashing process will start automatically. When flashing firmware, this way, make sure the bootloader on the flight controller is the PX for bootloader. Otherwise, Q ground control will not recognize it and flashing cannot continue. If the firmware file does not match the flight controller model, Q ground control will show an error and stop the flashing process. Firmware flash to Q ground control usually has the PX for file extension. This includes firmware downloaded from the official PX for GitHub and self-compiled firmware. After a short wait, the progress bar will finish and the screen will show upgrade complete. The flight controller will reconnect and open the vehicle configuration page. This means the PX for firmware is successfully installed. Open an now configurator and select Firmware Flasher from the left sidebar. To flash enough firmware version 8.0 higher, you need to use Configurator version 8.0 or above. Select the correct flight controller model from the list, then choose the firmware available for that model below. After selecting the firmware, click Load Firmware Online at the bottom right. Once the firmware loads into the configurator, the Flash Firmware button on the left will light up. Some flight controllers with onboard compasses will show an external magnetometer version of the firmware when you select the flight controller model. Choosing the external magnetometer version will disable the onboard compass. Firmware that uses the onboard compass cannot work with an external compass. When flashing firmware, choose the flight controller firmware that matches your drone setup, whether it uses the onboard compass or an external compass. After choosing the firmware, hold the boot button and connect the flight controller with a USB cable. The port field in the now configurator will show DFU. Click Flash Firmware. The now configurator uses full chip erase by default. 
After about 30 seconds, the progress bar will complete, and the port will switch from DSU to a COM port. Now, return to the welcome page in the left sidebar and connect the flight controller. Inside the Enough Configurator, you can see the current firmware version 8.0.1 in the top left corner. The online firmware flashing for Enough is now complete. The process for flashing firmware online with Beta Flight Configurator is the same as with Enough Configurator. Some Beta Flight firmware must be downloaded from our official GitHub. Press and hold the boot button on the flight controller and connect the USB cable. When the configurator detects the flight controller is in DFU mode at the top, click Load Firmware Local in the lower right corner. In the pop-up window, select the local firmware file to install. Once the firmware loads into the configurator and the flash button lights up, you can start flashing. The beta flight configurator also enables full chip erase by default. Wait about 30 seconds until the progress bar finishes and turns green. Then plug and replug the USB cable to the flight controller. The COM port and firmware info will then appear in the top right corner. Click Welcome on the left menu to return to the main page. Then click Connect to link the flight controller. The firmware information will appear in the top left corner. The local firmware flashing with the TAF flight configurator is now complete. That's all. We have introduced the download and flashing methods for the four major open source flight control firmware platforms. We also cover common issues during flashing and their solutions, along with how to use and download the necessary tools. That concludes the content for today. Thank you for watching.